Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this is part two of how to make our spectacular, massive fantasy wall diorama. In part one, we built the structure and we puttied it up, and we're going to predominantly built. Now we're going to finish off this in this part, and we'll have the, the complete structure all set and ready to go, including the window, the hinges, and everything, so that we, um, after that, we can go on to actually doing the diorama inside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and paint this. And this is just a semi-gloss, ultra-pure white. And it matches the molding uh, in the room that it's going to be in. It's the same paint and the same color as the molding. So it's going to fit in well with the scheme of the room. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that. And I don't need to show you the whole painting process. But, you know, I'm, I, it should come out pretty good because I've sanded it well and I've puttied it all. And it should have a really nice, clean look to it. Okay, I'm mounting the hinges here. And this is the bottom of the unit, as it will hang on the wall, so the hinges are on the bottom. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. As good as I'm using middle hinges, and I'll show you. So when this unit is closed, the hinges are pretty much hidden. Just a little bit of the bottom there, see. That'll be up on the wall, that's all you'll see, and that looks pretty good. So those are called middle hinges. So you've got these two catches here. Nice locks. You go like that. I'll put one here. And I'll put one over there. Okay, I've completed building the shadow box, and you've seen that. And now I'm going to be mounted it on the wall, and uh, I have my spot all picked out. And this is a very important part when you're doing a shadow box like this. It's very heavy. Mine right now, without any material in it, weighs 27 pounds. So you need to be real careful about how you're going to mount it on the wall. And I'm going to use a, a mounting kit called Security. It's something that uh, museums often use because it mounts uh, objects, usually pictures. Or paintings to the wall in a secure way that keeps them locked tight and very strong. So uh, the, the first thing you need to do is when you're doing stuff like this is to find the studs in your wall. Now I have a stud finder here and uh, well uh, you, you should understand how a stud finder works. You use it to um, find the studs within the wall. So I find a stud here and I found another stud here. So I'll be able to anchor because the, the unit is so heavy I'll be able to anchor my my uh, mounts right into the studs in the wall is very important. I don't want to just put it in the sheetrock because it's not as strong. So it's gonna end, I'm going to end up with these two, two brackets here like this. Right on the studs and it works out well for me because the positioning is balanced. There's a stud here and there's a stud here. So I'll mount these on the wall like this and then I will put uh, a third one down here and then I will put the corresponding brackets on the back of the shadow box and then I'll be able to put that right on the wall there. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this and I am going to not use oftentimes you use something called a stud anchor here if you can see that I'm not going to use these I don't I don't think they're strong enough I'm going to go with uh, longer screws so I can get them really nice and tight I'm using a level here to mark off and where I'm going to mount the mounting screws. And this is the height that I'm going to put the shadow box on. And the level makes sure I get this nice and level. Okay, I've got two of my mounting brackets here. And these are nice and secure. They're, they're put right into the studs in the wall. And that's going to support my 30, 35 pounds of uh, shadow box really nicely and I'm going to be putting another one down here 
as the lock that will lock the shadow box to the wall and up. He uses a special system here. I'll show you. At the bottom of the picture of the shadow box will be something like this. This is, well, this is what it'll be. This goes through here and then use a little tool to turn this and then that locks the shadow box to the wall if you can see that. And then you can turn it to unrelease, to release it. Turn it and it locks it. Shadow box is locked right to the wall. Um, museums use this kind of a technique for a lot of paintings and whatnot. It's called a um, secure T mounting system. Okay, I've got that wall diorama mounted up on the wall, and all I had to do was lift it up. Once I put the brackets on the back of it, all I had to do was lift it up and hang it right on there, and it's nice and strong. And the nice thing about this setup, this uh, secure T system, is this little tool that right down here, if I have the mount, you use that tool to lock it in place. Really neat little system, and then I can unlock it to take it back down. But right now it's locked in, it's nice and secure, it's strong. And here's, uh, I can open it, look at it, work on it, touch it up. I could even, this is really actually pretty nice, I can actually just leave it here and work on it as is. It's at a good height for me. So I could work on that, or I could take it down and put it on a, put it on a stand and work on it. So, um, so this part is complete building and the mounting of it and in the next stage in the next video I'm going to show you the design work how I design out what I'm going to do and I'll get as much done in that as I can so thanks for watching plenty more videos on my website at www.stormthecastle.com and um, subscribe if you want to follow along to see how I'm progressing with this I got some really great ideas you're going to really like this diorama this is going to be quite unique